everyone, we're going to find the interval of convergence of the series, and within this interval, uh, find the sum as a function of x. So this is an infinite geometric series because I can write this as the sum n equals 0 to infinity of x plus 1 squared, okay, divided by 9 to the nth power. So my a is 1, and this is your r. Since we have that, we want this uh, less than 1. So I'm going to take, um, it converges only when x plus 1 squared divided by 9 is less than 1. Now let's solve for this. We cross multiply. So we get x plus 1 squared is less than 9. When you square root both sides, you get x plus 1 is less than 3. Uh, and we'll put absolute value sign here. That means by definition, this means x plus 1 is less than 3, but greater than negative 3. So when I add, uh, subtract 1 from both sides, or all three parts to solve for x, that's going to give me negative 4 is less than x is less than 2. This is your interval of convergence within, um, so that's your interval of convergence is negative 4, comma, 2. Now let's find the sum, and we're going to use this formula. Again, this is your r, and your a is 1. So let's find our sum, and that's going to be the sum equals a divided by, by 1 minus r, which equals 1 divided by 1 minus x plus 1 squared divided by 9, which equals 1 divided by, and get the common denominator, 9 minus x plus 1 squared divided by 9. I'm going to bring this 9 up here, so it's going to be 9 divided by um, 9 minus, this is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. So this simplifies to 9 divided by negative x squared plus 2x, uh, or minus 2x, sorry, plus 8. And uh, to make this look nicer, let's pull out this negative and change all these signs. That's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 8. And this is your sum. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.